We'll guide you through how to scan a photo on your iPhone. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So what we can actually do is use a built-in app on our iPhone to go and do this. So all you need to do is go and open up the Notes app on your iPhone like this, and go and click on the Create button in the bottom right, and then the keyboard will open up. And what you need to do is go and click on the camera icon, and you can go and click on scan documents like this and your camera will open up. Now let me just quickly hide the camera because what's gonna happen here is it's actually set to auto in the top right, but what auto does is gonna auto scan and take the picture. So then all you need to do is have your photo lined up just like so and hold your phone over it. As you can see, it's all sort of lining things up with that yellow. And what you can do is change auto to manual if you're finding it too annoying. And then what you can do is preview it in the bottom left. So click it and that's how it looks. And what you can do is go and click on the tools at the bottom. For example, here you've got the crop button like this. And then what you can do is go and adjust these dots um, and you can just go make sure they're perfectly lined up in each corner. And once you're happy with it, click on done in the bottom right. And I'm happy with that. And then what you can do is go and click on done in the top left like so. And then it will open the camera again. And then you can go and save it by clicking save. Then what you can do is go and click on that arrow at the top here and you get a list of different options. Quick look, view as, copy, share, rename and delete. In this case, I want to go and share it. So I'll click on share. And then here we've got a few different options. You've got contacts. If you want to go and save it to your files, click there and your files app will then open up. You can choose where you want to go and save it. I'll just save it on my iPhone. We'll then go into the files app and go and find that document, which is just here. And that's it. And then once again, you can share it from here as well by clicking on the share button 